but now we're joined by big sister Jade and it's so lovely to it see It really this. is, Jade. The most incredible heartwarming story. So mum and dad, um, that's Diana and Neil, in foster parents for seven years, fostered seven children. Yeah. And so you as a family, quite used to having children coming in, sometimes temporarily and then being, you know, off they go to a, a new home. Yeah, so we was always used to having children come in and then move on and it was quite hard but we always knew that it was the best thing because they, we was giving them a second chance at life and yeah. Yeah. a chance to grow. So when you met Christian for the first time, I mean he was, he was terribly young and he was in a terribly poor state actually, he was in a coma and there was a big chance that he wouldn't survive. So yeah. as a family this was something you discussed um, but you brought him into your life, um, he came home with you and really Although he wasn't hitting the same milestones as, as other children, he was hitting milestones for him that were a little bit of a miracle, weren't they? Yeah. Um, it, was, it was a big discussion that my family had to make when choosing to take him, but immediately all of us said that we wanted to take him on and give him this chance at life to grow and develop. Although the circumstances weren't good, we just knew we had to help him in any way we possibly could. Well, there are heartbreaking parts of this story because um, you were trying to find him a future family. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness you didn't because, yeah. you know, you are just incredible with him. <laughs> thank you. But you even had an open day to come and meet him and, and nobody came. Yeah, it was, it was quite hard because we knew the real Christian and we knew how amazing he was. And then for him to be up for adoption and nobody to come forward and nobody to want him, it was, it was quite harsh because on paper he was this boy that isn't hitting his milestones, is severely disabled, doesn't have much chance of life. But in person he was just Christian and he was like the light in any room and like just a miracle child, but obviously that wasn't what the people were seeing on paper. Mm. They, they didn't know the true Christian like we did. Well, uh, in order to adopt him, you had to make some changes. He needed to have his own space, his own bedroom. So the, as a family, you had to move house. So you were really, really dedicated to this. Um, you again were advised, and it seems to be all the way along the line, it's that he won't walk, he won't talk, he won't, mm. all these things. Uh, part of his speech therapy, you, you asked the question, would he respond well to signing? Yeah. And what were you told? Um, so we've always kind of been told that, like, he would never be able to communicate and that because of his visual impairments, he, he won't be able to see signing and he won't understand it. But I just didn't want to take no as an answer. He enjoyed watching it on TV. And I thought, if I can do it and engage him with it, then even if he enjoys it, that's I'm still getting an amazing thing from that because he's happy. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I, I did sign in with him for, like, a year and a half before he did anything back. Well, we've actually got the moment, I think, here that he signed for the first time. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and so we'll just have a look at this and then explain what happened. Breakfast is finished. Can you sign finished? Good boy! Well done! So, oh so how did that happen for the first time? It must have been a yeah. hell of a shock, cos he was desperate yeah. to communicate. Yeah, so he, he was... You could tell in his eyes and um, by the noises he would make, he just wanted to be able to talk to us. So we started signing around the house, so we would say every time his food was finished, we'd be like, oh, Christian, it's finished now. And then he, he'd smile, but he never did it. And on that day, he just signed it, and I was like, Mom, Mom, and I was crying my eyes out. I was like, come here, come here, please, Christian, finish. And he did it again. And then from that day on, ev every time he'd finish, he would sign finish without finished. us telling him. And then once he'd got that one sign, it's like something clicked. And then he'd learn sign after sign after sign. And now he knows, I'd say, like, around 200 signs. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. So he can finally, he can communicate with you. He can tell you yeah. what's going on. Um, and then you had the idea to sign to music. Yeah. So how did that start? Um, so before we started signing to music, we set up um, a social media page called Sign Along With Us, where we taught people signs every day. Yeah. Because I saw how much it had helped Christian, and I thought if it can help other people who have like the same conditions or use sign like Christian, then I want to do that. And he was so happy doing it, and and music has always been like a relief for him. Mm -hmm. He's always been able to like dance to the tune and hum the tune. So I thought if I merge his two favorite things together, it would really help him. And that's how he learns most of his signs now. If we do it in a song, he's got it for, for life then. Yeah. He can remember it. And, and the artist that you were signing to then began to contact you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it was crazy to finally like 
for people to in the public eye to be understanding and to be seeing like Christian who uses sign language and to be sharing it on Twitter and saying that it's amazing it was it was so it was unbelievable well, we've actually got a message for for you right now um, from uh, Tom Walker and from Rona Keaton Hey, Jane and Christian, it's Tom Walker here. I just wanted to say it's been amazing watching your Sign Along With Us videos on Twitter. You guys are a proper inspiration and probably one of the best duos on the internet. So, uh, yeah, keep up the fantastic work. Nice one. Cheers. Hi, Christian, it's Ronan Keating here. I just wanted to say good morning. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I heard that you're a fan of Boys Own. I hope we brought you some joy with our music. Um, and take care of yourself. Good luck. God bless you. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just amazing. Let's uh, let's bring uh, yes, Christian, uh, let's meet Christian in because you actually um, have f f didn't dis you decided Hello. not to go to uni. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's always been my dream growing up, growing up that I was going to go to Ed Hill University and yeah. study SEN, but um, I decided I couldn't I couldn't move away from home. I had to yeah. thank you. It's all right. Ah, that was lovely. <laughs> oh. um, no, I couldn't leave him. Yeah. Hi, Christian. Say hi. 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 <laughs> hi good we morning. We have been loving your songs. All your okay, singing is you. so good. Yay. You're Yay. a very talented boy. <laughs> Say thank you. What you say? Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for being here. <laughs> um, oh. So for, for, for you guys now, you have defied the odds. Yeah. You have proved all the experts wrong. Um, you have this unbelievable bond. Oh, you really do. <laughs> you <laughs> really we do. met you earlier on and it's so, so, so lovely. Um, and, and his development now is down to you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I would disagree. I'd say it's all down to him because his resilience is it's what gets me through the day. It's just amazing. And mm. like you said before, he's not hitting his milestones that every, all other children are hitting. He's hitting milestones that he should never be able to hit. Yeah. So him saying, like, one word is like me being able to speak ten languages. Absolutely. It's just Let me give amazing. a tissue to, I know. Tissue to Mama's Mom, mouth. you must be <laughs> so proud, aren't you? Yeah. Are we both both unbelievable. Both yeah. of them are incredible. I mean, this is, a, this is an accomplishment as a family, an amazing family for what you've done for the other children <laughs> as well. So you are, in, you are incredible yourselves. But, but when that, that first sign happened, that first communication must have been incredible. Yeah, I think we were all... Crying, Daddy was crying, Mummy was crying. We was all crying when he signed. Behind, behind the other end of that camera, he's just as all in tears. Yeah, yeah. it's it just incredible funny. because I think we, even we as parents, were saying, oh, "I'm not sure it's working," but he's having fun. You know, we didn't think it was going to work. <laughs> he's saying telly. Yeah, yeah. what's the <laughs> sign for... on the telly? And what's the sign for telly? Show them how you do <laughs> telly. Sign for telly. Yeah. You can't hit Christian goes telly like he's pressing the remote. No, no. Telly. Oh, oh, he made his own sign. Yeah, up that one. you are the telly. <laughs> <laughs> we watch you all the time, don't we? Oh. What for you? And you, you I read something this morning, which is so lovely. That when you're in the car, yeah, there is a moment for you in the car when, when you're with him that it all becomes worthwhile. Yeah. Um, so we're in the car and we're just getting about our normal lives, not taking in how beautiful life is. And then you turn around or you see in the mirror and Christy is signing along to a song, full passion, doing everything that we were told he'd never be able to do. And that moment for me is just what makes what makes life amazing. And then he turns around and says, I love you. Oh, yeah, and that, that is the cherry on the top. When, then he, when he sees me looking and I'm, like, nearly crying again, he goes, J.D., love you. Love you, you say it. Love you. Oh, <laughs> and then he's, he's added at the end of it, love you to the... Moon and back. <gasps> amazing! <laughs> it gets me. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a. Um, we've got. To ask you. <laughs> we've got a bit of a present oh. for you, um, which is in there. Thank oh. you. Um, oh, so gosh. a little bird told that uh, that you're all uh, massive fans of Man City. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we've been in touch with our friends at the club. They've uh, kindly agreed to give Man. the family hospitality tickets to a match. <laughs> <laughs> you get VIP treatment, complimentary food and drinks before you sit in the posh welcome. seats. Thank you're going you. in the posh seats. You're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, but that's not all. Um, to, to thank Jade for all her hard work, we're going to send you and a friend for a spa day at a luxur the, the luxurious Lowry Hotel wow. in Manchester. You can un unwind and relax and be pampered. Thank oh, you so much. You deserve it. And thank you. Thank that's you. Made our <laughs> week, hasn't it? That really has. You're amazing. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you both. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Kisses. Blow me a kiss. Oh, <laughs> wow.